Erev Tov Chabrim, I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. Guys, we have breaking news. RT is reporting that the U.S.-led coalition uh, has struck Syrian army positions. This has only happened just a few hours ago. It's according to the Syrian General Command. It says U.S.-led coalition airstrikes Syrian army positions. You've heard that exactly right. Uh, the coalition jets have bombed Syrian government forces positions near the eastern city of Deir ez-Zor, paving the way for the Islamic State militants. The Syrian general, uh, the Syrian army general, command told the state television, according to the Syrian officials, uh, Sana News Agency, the bombing took place on Al Tadar Mountain in the region of Deir ez-Zor. All right, now I'm going to real quick, guys. I'm going to jump over here. We're going to try to get you. Uh, uh, to get you, get you a little look at what this is actually going on right here. So we can see this, Del Az, El, El Azor. Um, and uh, that way, maybe, let's see, uh, Del Al Azor. I'm just kind of doing this, guys, right off the bat here. Here we go, right here. This is near, this is the mountainous region in the eastern part of the Syrian uh uh, country there. This is nowhere near Aleppo. In fact, earlier reports today on another uh, news there that I saw was that they said that the United States accidentally today bombed their own uh, uh, moderate rebels. And then now, now th of course, even though that uh, they're saying U.S.-led coalition, we don't know if the bombers were actually U.S. bombers themselves or it, if it could be whether it be, you know, French forces, German forces, whoever's flying over there with them. We know the British are flying there as well. That's near a place called al uh, uh Der Ez Zor, uh, the region there. Again, like I said, the far east of Syria there. Um, you know, good, 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 good ways away from uh, Aleppo or any of the other really, really hot spots there. Uh, according to the article there that RT is putting out, it said it has paved the way now for the for ISIS to come in there and wipe out uh, the Syrians' uh, military there on the ground. Uh, very concerning to us guys, as we saw, we also found out as well in news that uh, it was not the Syrian army that had mortar shells falling over on the Israeli side in the Golan. It actually ended up being uh, part of Al Qaeda, uh, part of the uh, moderate rebels, their forces there that were having the mortars fall in while the Syrian military was trying to push them out of areas around Damascus. Uh, again, it was blamed on them. I know that Netanyahu has had a pretty uh, tough way of dealing with things, but as other news sources have po po pointed out already, it was a very odd way that he actually used airstrikes when normally he, he does shelling on these types of uh, issues. So, we will try to keep you up to date. We're actually getting ready to uh, film and go live on a radio broadcast in America. Uh, but this is very serious news. I will be back and update you here momentarily. We, this, this may actually air twice because we have it going on our, uh, on our uh, phone, on our capture there. But for some reason, uh, it's not loading. And that's kind of strange there. Anyway, I am concerned. Let me just say this real quick in closing here. Uh, I am very concerned that this issue here may cause, this may be the fuse that really brings us about into a third world war. We already know that Russia and the Chinese, they've been moving massive amounts of troops. We know that uh, they're in a major drills there in the South China Sea. Um, you know, like I said, I think Obama's going to get his wish list. If it could have only been held off until the election to where possibly Donald Trump could have been elected, and I believe Donald Trump would have easily made peace with Russia, and we wouldn't have this situation in such a major flame. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Erev Tov.